All right, so if you're wondering how to set up your macros for your diet, stay tuned and I'm gonna give you some ideas on exactly how to do that. All right, thanks for watching everybody. So today's question came from Scott Grack. And Scott asked me re regarding macro split, the general uh, will will always push high carb and low fat or lower, low carb and high fat. But what about a moderate split for fats and carbs? Now, this is a good one because um, people tend to be a little uh, neurotic these days. They are very anti-carb or they're very anti-fat. And one of the things, as I've built programs over the years, uh, what I do is I generally ask people you know, what kind of foods are they allergic to so you don't put anything like that in their plan. But I also ask people, what kind of foods do you like, do you enjoy, what kind of foods digest well. So I get an idea, first of all, what kind of foods people like and what they can handle. And um, I try to get an idea of their history and then I build, um, uh, then I build their diet plan. So I don't really pay attention to macros. I'm paying attention more to the kind of foods that they use well. Now, what ended up happening was through the years, uh, when I build a plan, I put it in an Excel spreadsheet and I have it set up so it calculates the percentage of calories that are coming from protein, carbs, and fat. And what ended up happening was most of the time, diets would be 40-40-20. 40% protein, 40% carbs, and 20% fat. And then I typically used a little less carbs on off days, so on those days, the split would have a little bit lower carbs and a little bit more fat. But that general split was where I tend to start just about everybody. It's kind of, I didn't really do that intentionally, but as I looked at the programs, they almost were always 40, 40, 20. So what will happen is you're working with people though, you'll get an idea. Some people just handle carbs a little better than others. So if you're one of those people that uh, handle carbs better, those people, I tend to add a little bit more carbs. And, but what I, what I don't do though is I don't try to take fat down as low as I can. That doesn't make sense to me from a health perspective. You need essential fatty acids for one. You need omega-3s and omega-6s. Your body can't produce them. So uh, I never like taking out all fat out of a diet. And then there's other types of fats like monounsaturated fats that, you know, things like olive oil, um, you know, almond butter, almonds, things like that, that also can help people just with their general health, you know, might be increasing their HDL, you know, which, which would be a positive effect on their lipid panel. So, and I never really feared a little bit of saturated fat either. I never felt like a little bit of saturated fat was a bad thing. Um, your joints need a little saturated fat. Heck, even your heart doesn't mind a little saturated fat. So I never tried to eliminate fat altogether. So what I would do in the cases where people would tolerate carbs real well, I would just increase their carbs, but I would never take their fat below, I'd say about 12 to 15%. Now, you'll get some people that don't handle carbs real well. You know, they don't partition, uh, you know, carbs as, as well as, as others. So those are the folks that I would tend to bring their carbs down a little. And in that case, you're going to have to bring their fat up a little bit. At the end of the day, I do believe when somebody is trying to gain muscle or trying to lose body fat, I do think calories matter. Um, I don't think you can get around that. So even if I'm moving carbs up or down, I wanna keep their calories so that they're going to be gaining muscle or losing fat. So in other words, you can't be under eating and expect to gain any muscle and you can't be overeating and expect to lose any body fat. So um, you've gotta always be mindful of that. So look at somebody's calories and then I want you to use common sense. So if somebody tends to do real well, higher carbs, take their carbs up a little bit and then bring their fat down a little bit. Never eliminate fat altogether though. And if you have some folks that just don't handle carbs real well, hey, bring their carbs down a little bit and bring their fat up some. Okay, so um, this isn't anything groundbreaking. I'm just trying to give you some general ideas on how to develop your macros. So what I would do is I'd probably start at 40, 40, 20. Build the, look at the number of calories you need and try to get 40% of that from protein, 40% from carbs, and 20% from fat, and then adjust from there based on how you handle carbs or you know, whether you handle them well or don't handle well. So just some simple instruction today on how to set up your macros. 
Um, feel free to comment below if you have some more questions on, you know, how many grams do you think that would be for you? You know, we can take some educated guesses on that as well. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.